Hello, everyone, and I want to wish you an amazing Christmas and a Happy New Year. You're tremendous warriors, and we appreciate it so much. We're in Florida right now, speaking to you through this technological advance that's been made, that's been incredible, what they've been able to do over the last number of years. Incredible. We'll be talking to you in a little while, and you'll be asking me some questions. We have a lot of the media right here, our friends from the media, dear, dear friends from the media. Sometimes they're good. But we're honored to be joined on this call by five units deployed all across the world, representing the branches of our armed forces. We have, uh, as you know, we have a new branch that's joining us. It'll be the Space Force. We don't have them represented quite yet, but uh, that'll be very soon. We're going to have a sixth branch of the military. That's the first time in 70 years a new branch will be coming on. That's going to be very exciting. Because of your brave and selfless service, Americans can celebrate Christmas in safety and a peace. So we all appreciate what you do so much, and we thank you very much. To begin our call, I'd like to recognize Captain Roxana Flores and the U.S. Army's 103rd Sustainment Command joining us all the way from Kuwait. The Cactus Soldiers, as they're called, are supporting a wartime force of over 25,000 service members and civilians undertaking sustainment operations in 12 different countries, and you're doing an incredible job. Across the Middle East, our warfighters win only with the relentless determination and unsurpassed devotion that we have, they have. It's incredible, the job they do. And thank you very much. And we'll go back to Roxana in a little while. We'll ask a couple of questions, and she'll have some questions for us. We also have with us sailors aboard the USS Forrest Sherman, a destroyer under the command of Commander Frank Azzarello, joining us from the Gulf of Aden. Your stop clandestine, and this is what you're doing so well, that you're able to stop clandestine weapon smuggling at a record number, by the way. Escort tankers and keep the seas safe for America and our allies in the highest tradition of our great Navy. And our Navy is doing really well. We just approved a record budget for our Navy. Lots of new ships and lots of new everything. I want to thank you for your constant vigilance, and we'll get back to you in a second, too. I also welcome the great Marine sailors and soldiers of Task Force Southwest 192, who are stationed in Camp Shorup in Afghanistan. Brigadier General David Odom, thank you very much, General. Your brilliant team is vital to training, advising, and assisting our friends in the Afghan military. Your intelligence and security operations are second to none, and we're making a lot of progress. There, as you know, we're also reducing troop force because we don't need what we had there, and uh, we reduced troop force and are in the process of doing that very significantly. Thank you very much, General. Back in the United States, we're joined by the 20th Attack Squadron at Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, a great state. Greetings to Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Waspa and all of the airmen of the Air Base. You're crushed, and you know what happened recently. You helped us so much and won very, very big. You crushed ISIS from the air, kept the Taliban running scared, and conducted countless lethal airstrikes against the enemies of freedom. You are an incredible group, and we are supremely grateful for your service and the job you do. What happened with ISIS uh, was incredible. As you know, we took over 100 percent of the caliphate and destroyed them. That doesn't mean they don't come back in smaller sections, and we handle them as they come back. But we had 100 percent, and al-Baghdadi is dead. The leader of ISIS, the founder of ISIS, is dead. His replacement is now dead. And we have our sights on the new replacement. I don't know why anybody would want that job, frankly. Finally, we have with us, uh, uh, we have with us a captain who is somebody that's so highly respected, Michael Frawley, everyone in the Coast Guard, Air Station, Sitka in Alaska. We want to thank you for your work. You conduct daring rescues and treacherous mountain slides and towering waves. Thank you for being our faithful guardians, and you really have. You know, the Coast Guard, with the work they've done during hurricane season two years ago in Texas, in particular Texas, because they saved 16,000 lives. Nobody understands what that means. 
16,000. Even me, I, I heard that number and I said, can that be possible? 16,000. He served 16,000 lives and saved. And these are people out at sea. These are people on the land where we had that massive, probably the largest amount of water ever to come on shore from a hurricane. Went out, it went out, it came back, went out, came back. Then a third time it went out, it came back. And the Coast Guard was there. You saved 16,000 people. Then you had Florida, then you had Puerto Rico. I mean, you were very busy. And uh, I don't think anybody's stock has gone up like the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard has been incredible. And we really appreciate the job you've done. Saved thousands of lives. But this Christmas, I hope every member of our military will feel the overwhelming love and gratitude of our nation for your faithful service. Starting January 1st, you'll be getting your largest pay raise in more than a decade. You don't have to take it. If you want, you can turn it back into the government. But we got you a good pay raise last year. We're going to get you an even better pay raise this year. It'll be the largest in over a decade. And you very much earned it. And don't worry, I'm only kidding when I say turn it back, because uh, the press will cover that. They'll say, he wants them to turn the pay raise back. No, I got it for you. Keep it and spend it well. Once again, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now let's get on to uh, a discussion with some of our folks. And maybe we'll start with Captain Flores of the United States Army. Captain, please. Good morning and happy holidays, Mr. President. I am Captain Roxana Flores, and on behalf of the soldiers of the 103rd Sustainment Command Expeditionary, we would like to wish you and your entire family a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to speak with us today. It is a true honor and privilege, sir. Mr. President, the morale here in Kuwait is hot. And today, I sit here surrounded by an, a group of outstanding leaders that represent our over 200 soldier formation consisting of Army Reserve soldiers that are coming together from over 32 different states, all brought together one month before deployment. And that is thanks to the company leadership of Captain Shelby Peters and First Sergeant Trenton Byler. Mr. President, also here in the room, we have our highly dedicated soldiers like Sergeant uh, Jonathan Ochoa and Specialist Robert Wallace. And finally, Mr. President, uh, we have Specialist Brett Nyquist, who has been dying for at least a week to ask you a question, if that's okay with you. Go ahead. Whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Mr. I President. It, I hope it's not too good, but that's okay. Whatever. <laughs> not too good. Uh, my, my name is Specialist Brett Nyquist. I'm an intelligence analyst from Des Moines, Iowa. A lot of us here at Camp Eric John have been wondering, what did you get Mrs. Trump for Christmas this year? Oh, that's a tough question. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I, I really should say a very beautiful card. You know, I'm working on a I got her a beautiful card that actually I had a number of them picked and I picked the nicest one. Uh, a lot of love and we love our family and we love each other and uh, we've had a, uh, a great relationship like you do hopefully with your spouses. We've had a great relationship and uh, I think I'll, I'll answer that by saying I'm still working on the Christmas present. Is that okay? <laughs> there's a little time too, left. Not too much, but there's a little time left. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice question. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Uh, we have. Go ahead. Right. Thank, Thank you, Mr. President. Um, we also have Sergeant Dylan Contreras, who also has a question he's been dying to ask of you, sir. Okay, please. Go ahead. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. President. My name is uh, Sergeant Dylan Contreras. I am from San Antonio, Texas. I am an information technology specialist. And my question for you, sir, is Home Alone 2, your favorite holiday movie? <laughs> well, I'm in Home Alone 2, and <laughs> sort of, uh, a lot of people mention it every year, especially around Christmas. They say, I just saw you, especially young kids, they say, I just saw you on the movie. They don't see me on television as they, but as they do in the movie. But it's been a good movie, and uh, I was a little bit younger, to put it mildly, and it was uh, it was an honor to do it, and it turned out to be a very big hit. Obviously, it's a 
It's a big Christmas hit, one of the biggest. So it's an honor to be involved in something like that. You always like to see success. So thank you both very much. Thank you all very much. And they were great questions. They were really uh, the question about Christmas gifts. You made me think. I'm going to have to start working on that real fast. <laughs> thank you all very much. Right I appreciate there. it. Keep up the good work. Yes. And now I'd like to ask Thank Amanda you. Frank Azzarello, if I might, to uh, ask a couple of questions. And uh, you're at the USS Forrest Sherman, Frank. Tell me what's going on. Good morning. Merry Christmas, Mr. President, from the Gulf of Aden. I'm Commander Frank Azzarello, Commanding Officer of Forrest Sherman, 9,000 tons of American fighting steel and from your best service. Uh, our new nickname is the Battle Wagon for all the things we've been doing out here. Uh, we've, so right now, we've, uh, I've got 320 warfighters. We've sailed over 45,000 nautical miles this year, almost circumnavigated the, circumnavigated the world twice. We've been out here for 95 days. You've already talked about our shining moment, uh, according all the uh, illicit materials. Uh, we've also been conducting uh, numerous operations, uh, escorting uh, some of our vessels and our allies through uh, the Straits of Hormuz, the Straits of Bab el-Mandeb, uh, and all those fun places. Uh, I've got a couple people I'd like to recognize. Our chief boats and mate, Chief Fisher, and Petty Officer uh, Huntsman, who spent a lot of time on our small boat during those operations, putting at great personal risk. And our sailors of the year, logistics specialist, first class crews, electronics technician, excuse me, second class bower, and re retail specialist, third class tran. All uh, super sailors, superstars on this ship. Uh, I can't tell you what an honor and privilege is for to uh, talk to you. Uh, the morale is boosted right now. I've got about 100 missiles. I got some gunners that don't miss, and we're looking for a job to solve any of your problems, Mr. President. Wow, that's pretty wild. So, uh, the only questions we have for you Go ahead. is uh, if you're ever in the Gulf of Aden, uh, we'd like to host you. Oh, good. Uh, if you ever find yourself out here, and if not, uh, if you've never made it to Norfolk and seen a homecoming, maybe we can see you in the spring when we get home. That's good. Well, I've been to Norfolk plenty of times, but I'd love to see you out there, and you do. And I guess the big difference uh, is that you have equipment the likes of which you've never had before, Frank. Like you, uh, when I first came in three years ago, uh, we were very depleted with our planes and our ships and our missiles and rockets and everything else that we have. And now I see those, even the uniforms. We have all brand new uniforms, which, believe it or not, that's a tremendous expense, but we have everything new. Some are even redesigned, as you know. In the case of the Army, it was redesigned and beautifully redesigned. We went back to a look that was the most popular. But uh, you feel a lot different, I think, than you did three years ago, Frank? Yes, sir. Big difference. We're at the tip of the spear out here. Yep. Yeah, great job. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe we'll stop by someday. We'll Thank stop on that ship. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And now for the Marines, we have a highly respected gentleman, General David Odom. And General, yes. if you have any questions or statements, please make them. Good morning, Mr. President. This is uh, David Odom here, sir. We, on behalf of all 500 uh, Task Force Southwest, your Marines and sailors that are serving out here in Helmand Province, so we want to wish you and your family a very happy holidays. Uh, we are honored for the opportunity to uh, speak with you and interact with you today. We know how busy your schedule is, and uh, we're humbled to take the time out of your schedule uh, to spend time with us on, on your holiday, sir. Uh, your warriors out here, sir, have been out here about seven months. We've been working in a great team with resolute support uh, with our NATO and coalition partners. Uh, as well as uh, US-4A uh, with all of our joint teammates, Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines uh, from across uh, the United States working together out here. And we've been working with a great partner in the 215th uh, Afghan National Defense uh, Corps uh, and their police counterparts uh, here in Helmand and Nimruz province, sir. So we've been here about seven months, been trying to move the football every day, staying on mission and task, sir, and we're honored to serve out here. Sir, our uh, real question for you today is, is how are you going to spend your holiday uh, here in the coming uh, uh, today, tomorrow, and uh, hopefully into the weekend, sir? Well, I'm at a place called Mar-a-Lago. We call it the Southern White House because I really pretty much work. That's what I like to do is work. And we've made a lot of progress. We've done some things uh, 
over the last few days that were incredible, having to do with trade. Uh, as you know, we're now getting along very well with China and trade. In fact, they just took tariffs off more than 800 products where they were charging us tariffs, and now those tariffs are gone. Uh, but we've made a very big deal with China recently. We've made a very big deal with Mexico, Canada, uh, North Korea, Japan, a $40 billion deal with Japan, and we have plenty of others coming. It's going to have a tremendous boost in our country over the coming years, even over the coming year, but over the coming years, especially when they're fully kicked in. It's tremendous amounts of money. And by the way, for all of you, I have to say, our country has never done better economically. It's nice that uh, you'll fight regardless, and you'll guard us and take care of us regardless, but our country has never done better economically. Uh, we just set a stock market record yesterday. That would be the 135th in less than three years of my presidency. So we've never had a uh, a uh, economy anywhere close to this. Our unemployment numbers are the best we've ever had. Uh, they're African-American, uh, Asian-American, Hispanic-American. The numbers are incredible. The lowest number of, in terms of unemployment that we've ever had, lowest numbers. Uh, with women, they're down to a 71-year low. We'll soon have a historic number there, too. We think if it keeps going, we'll have a uh, historic number, meaning in the history of our country as opposed to 71 years. 71 years is not bad. But I will tell you, uh, we've never done better, so I think it's good. 401ks and jobs in the country. We have the most people working right now in the United States that we've ever had in the history of our country, close to 160 million people. So for all of you, I just want to tell you, uh, thank you very much. And you make it possible for us to do what we have to do. But our country is doing well. We're the envy of the world right now. Everybody that sees me, every foreign leader that sees me, they come up and they say, what are you doing? Congratulations. We've never seen anything like it. And uh, they want to do it, too, but it doesn't work out so well for them. We are, uh, we are doing something that's never been done before, and our numbers reflect it. So uh, you make it possible. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. And, sir, we want to make sure you're aware, sir. I know you are, but we want you to hear it from us. The mail has been flowing in. The tremendous the support from the American people uh, to their service members for deployed. Uh, we've had just boxes upon boxes of care packages, stockings for all the service members. So Operation Santa is in effect out here because of the great support of the American people, their service members. Sir, we just wanted to share that with you. I know you, we know you were out here at, at Thanksgiving, had a great meal uh, up in Bagram. Uh, we're going to have a fantastic meal uh, here tomorrow at all our positions. Uh, while we're away from our loved ones, we're honored to be here together, representing our nation uh, in support of a mission and working with a great partner. And we will celebrate together here. We thank you again, sir. Happy holidays to you. Thank you. General, great job. Thank you very much. Say hello to all those great Marines, and we appreciate it. And Merry Christmas. Fantastic job. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So now we'll go to Whiteman. Uh, Air Force Base, and we'll speak with, let's see, who's, who would like to speak out? Whiteman. Is that Whiteman right there? That's Whiteman. Go ahead, please. Good morning, Mr. President. This is Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Wasmith, the commander of the 20th Attack. Nice to see you. And on behalf of all the 20th Attack Hellhounds and Team Whiteman, we want to wish you, your family, a uh, very Merry Christmas. We greatly appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to talk to us. It means an incredible amount that you would do that and, and single out the 20th to speak to. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, Chief Ruby and I brought uh, three of our youngest crew members. As you know, we're flying combat operations every day of the year. Uh, our planes are over Afghanistan. We have First Lieutenant Williford, Sergeant Cook, and Airman Burley. Uh, the youngest is 19 years old that are supporting uh, close air support missions around the clock in Afghanistan for you every day. So thank you for taking the time. It's an incredible honor, and Merry Christmas, Mr. Well, President. Thank you very much, Lieutenant Colonel. And I have to uh, just ask you one question. So we spent a lot of money on brand new airplanes, as you know. We were, three years ago, you didn't have brand new airplanes. You were not doing well, and now you have all brand new. Are you seeing the big difference? They're already arriving. Are you seeing the big difference? Sir, your Air Force is thriving, and we, the MQ-9 community, and the rest of the aircraft are extremely lethal. Yes, Mr. President. Very good. You know, uh, 
a little while ago, they were going to uh, the graveyards in the desert, and they were taking parts for old planes. You don't have those planes, so uh, you have brand new, beautiful stuff. You have? Are you flying the F-35s? No, sir. We're flying the MQ-9 Reapers. Right. Uh, That's good. All good, right? Do you fly others? Yes, other sir. Than, other than the Reaper, do you fly others too? No, sir. Not our unit specifically. The the team here at Whiteman though flies the B-2. Right. Sure. That's a big one. Good. Thank you very yes, much, sir. Lieutenant Colonel. And thank you, everybody. Who's the 19-year-old? Tell me. Who's the 19? Raise your hand. Uh, 19. Evan Burley. The B-19. Not so bad. Good. Have a good time. Thank you. Great yes, job. Sir. Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you. You too. Merry Christmas to everybody. And we'll go now to the Coast Guard Air Station in Sitka in Alaska. And Captain Michael Frawley, if you could say a few words. and. Merry Christmas to everybody, and I've said it all about the Coast Guard. The job they've done has been incredible over the last three years. Thank you. Go ahead, Michael. Morning, Mr. President. Uh, Merry Christmas from Southeast Alaska. Appreciate you saving the best for last. Um, <laughs> it's, it's 5 a.m. here, sir, and uh, I just want to tell you we've got only about 180 active duty Coasties on the island, and uh, there's about 25% of us here showed up. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time, as, as everyone else said earlier. Uh, we know how uh, busy you are. Everybody, I just want to point out a couple of people. We've got the uh, Ace Navigation Team uh, Sitka. If you guys could raise your hands, please. Yeah, they, uh, they showed up. We've also got uh, members of the Coast Guard Cutter Kikui, the 225-foot buoy tender uh, that handles the aids to navigation uh, throughout Southeast Alaska. You guys, uh, is anybody from Kikui here? Feel free to raise your hands. There you go. And then uh, finally, we've got uh, the Air Station uh, Sitka. It's the best aviation unit in the world. We're, uh, we're protecting Southeast Alaska from uh, Dixon Entrance all the way up to Yakutat and waiting for the next bad thing to happen. So we appreciate you being here, sir. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Well, you do a great job, Michael. Thank you very much. And thank everybody in the Coast Guard. It's a big group in Alaska. And you need a big group. It's a big place. We just, uh, a lot of things have happened in Alaska. One of the, uh, one of the big ones is Anwar. You know about that. The biggest, possibly the biggest drilling site in the world. We got that approved. They've been trying to get it approved for 50 years. I got it approved. And uh, it's going to have a tremendous impact. Plus, you're doing a lot of log logging and lumber work up there. It's, uh, we opened it up for you. So, we always watch the environment. Very important. But we also open up the business and uh, Alaska and the Alaskan people have been very thankful, so we appreciate it. Great job, Michael. We appreciate it. And just in closing out, I want to wish everybody a really incredible new year, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah. Uh, again, we have a special country. Our country is doing better now than it's ever done before. Our economy is the best it's ever been. Uh, I believe that as all of this new equipment starts pouring in, and it already has started for the most part. In the case of the Air Force, a lot of it's there. The Navy, a lot of it's there. Uh, we're building a couple of submarines, by the way, that will be the most lethal weapons anywhere in the world. I have to tell you that it's uh, what, they, uh, what they do and how they do it is uh, rather incredible, but uh, they're the most, most powerful weapons in the world. And unfortunately, the lethal, and hopefully we never have to use them from that standpoint. We hope never to have to use them. But we're going to have them very soon. We already have some, but these are beyond anything that anybody's ever seen before, the submarines. So I want to thank everybody. I want you to have a great Christmas. I want you to have an incredible New Year. I think we're poised for tremendous uh, success in the United States. And uh, enjoy all that new equipment that we're getting you. It's all made in the USA. Very important. It's made in the USA, every bit of it. So thank you all very much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you very much.